Welcome back, it's Dots23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And before I get started, if you like this video, please drop a thumbs up on it. It helps out the channel more than you know. And if not, thumbs down works also. And if you like knife content and you're not already, smash that subscribe button. Today I have for you um, my fishing EDC. Uh, I'm going, I'm leaving to go fishing tomorrow with a buddy of mine. Uh, we will be going for four days. And this is my EDC gear, you know, not my fishing tackle or my snacks or nothing like that. Just, just the gear that would be on me in the boat. Uh, for the most part, there may be some stuff I take out of here. I have it kind of set up to where if I need to take something out, I can. But I like to keep it in this little fanny pack just in case we get out of the boat somewhere and I need to uh, have something. I don't have pockets in the pants I'm wearing, so I can just throw this on, put a wallet, whatever I need to, take out, whatever. Because this actually goes into a backpack. So, you know, it's kind of a modular system. You'll see why when I start opening it up. But we'll go into this first pocket right here, front zipper pocket. Got my first uh, flashlight. I like to bring multiple just in case because of the batteries. Uh, I like this one right here. This is the Flowmove EDC C4. I've showed this before. I love that it has a pocket clip. Um, and my favorite part, it takes uh, a 2600 milliamp uh, 18650. And if I don't have to use the flashlight, I can always use it to charge my phone. You can plug up a micro USB right there and just plug your phone or whatever you want to charge into that and um it you can cycle pretty easily and it's i think it's i forget maybe 2000 lumens well bright enough for me um and i i just throw it in here mainly because um i don't always take the battery out of here while i'm traveling and when i have it in here i don't it, it doesn't ever kick on so there go that's one of my flashlights probably you know my most powerful that i would keep on me Next, I just picked this up uh, the other day, and I don't use the buy Gerber stuff, but I actually bought two things recently, and this is one of them. Uh, it was on sale at my local Walmart. Nice, nice rugged uh, sheath, I can tell you that. And it's got these two little loops. Um, I, I could hook it onto a pack or something. It's. I'm gonna test this one out to see which one I want to have to keep in my car. Right now, I have that uh, Leatherman rebar. I don't. I don't think this one will take its place, but you never know. I'll tell you why I like this one. This is the Gerber Center Drive. What I like about this one is, is I don't always have two hands to open these. And I will say, my Leatherman rebar is kind of hard to pry open. It just hasn't broken in yet. But the cool thing about this one, I'm still learning it. It's got this little slide right here. You can see those up and down arrows. And let's see if I, oh, I'm sorry, I got it the wrong way. I'm gonna learn. You can slide the thing out and it's spring loaded. You got, uh, looks like a carbide cutter right there to cut wire. And I love the fact that you can change it out. So once it goes dull, you can just change it out both sides. You got very well aligned uh pliers right there as you can see they're touching no no uh gaps through them um this isn't a review just just showing y'all what i'm bringing and i also liked it because it has this and i think this is the whole center drive thing well all of it down the center you can change these bits it comes with a phillips and a flathead and this thing locks open I could get a good bit of torque. Some of the other ones, I don't usually have that great of torque. And I like how it has the liner lock right there. So you just press that down and close it up. Um, we're gonna see how this one works in the elements too. We're, we're not going in too much salt water, so it should be okay. Got a blade there, I probably will never use that because I always have enough blades. There's a huge burr, <laughs> this whole entire side right here. Wow, big, big burr. Let's see if I can, you can see that. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that, but I can literally see the burr right there, going all the way down. Nice, might fix that before I go. Um, let's see, oh yeah. 
you open up here and you got tools in here. I'm not gonna pull them all out, but you got a pry bar, another flathead. You got an awl in there. You got a serrated knife and a file and a ruler on this side. So I don't know, we'll see. I, I like, like I said, I like the one hand uh, aspect of it, especially if you have a fish in one hand and you wanna, you know, you gotta pry that hook out of the mouth cause he doesn't swallow it too far. We'll see. I'll, I'll let y'all know how it, how it worked out. So put that to the side. I think that's it for that pocket. Tell you what, this little pack holds a good bit of stuff. Okay, now this, well, before we get to this one, Let's see, I got, yeah, I keep a uh, uh, thing with my spare batteries, a spare 18650 that goes in my flashlight, and then uh, you'll see what this one goes to in just a second. So, I keep this in here, and once again, if I need to hurry and take everything out, I, I don't have to throw it all in a pile, I can just put this in my bag and it's all nice and neat. I'm just a little OCD. Also, the fixed blade that I will be having on me is one of my favorites, especially when I'm going to be uh, fishing, is the Quiet Carry uh, Current. Love, love this fixed blade. LC200N, so I don't have to worry about it uh, rusting. I probably have to touch that edge up because I beat it up the last time I used it. But slice is good, nice thin blade stock, high flat grind, comfortable in hand. Uh, it's, 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 it's a nice size, especially for, you know, throwing in a pack, putting it in a backpack and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, yeah, that goes back in here. <laughs> Sometimes, depending on where I'm going, I, I might throw, I might have more or less in it. That little fanny pack is, <laughs> is, uh, works way better than you expect. Usually people laugh at first until, like, they see the functionality once they're with you, but... Another one of my favorite bags, the VanQuest. Um, I like Max Expedition too, but the VanQuest just make more sense for what I how I carry things. I like the orange, like I said in my truck load video. Um, first off, we got two pry bars, and let's just be honest, we're gonna be just using these to pop pop them bottles, if you know what I mean. Uh, one of these. This one will probably be on on my uh, person whenever I have some shorts with uh, pockets. But if not, it'll just stay in here. And if we got bottles, we need to pop here. Uh, most of the time, we got twist tops, but you never know. Same here. And if I need to pry something, I got it. Uh, secondary fixed blade. Uh, just another little small one. This is uh, my fold scrap knife. It's in, I'm pretty sure, I think it's in 154 CM. So, uh, it's a real, that's a, it's a good stainless. Um, and I'm, I'm not really worried about it. I don't, I don't baby, I don't baby them. Um, uh, and I tend to carry more blades than I need first. Cause I am a, a knife nut. And, uh, because when I go places like this, I don't have my sharpening systems. I will probably bring a small stone if I have to touch something up, but I have enough blades I shouldn't for four days. But I will be bringing my bastard straps. Um, got 0.5 micron and one micron. Love this thing. I've had this for so long now. I need to get me another one. Love, love some, and I got those pocket straps in my other bag. <laughs> Great for traveling. Uh, always good to have a pen, and I got this from my buddy, uh, my buddy Blade Banter from his Orion knife. Uh, he got a Orion knife, knives pocket pen collaboration. Great little small pens, they work great. And one thing I thought that was cool last time I was at um, Academy, I saw that pocket pen, the people at pocket pen collaborated with, uh, I think, Right in the Rain. And they have their own, they got their Right in the Rain Edition pocket pin. I thought that was super cool to see a big company like that collab. Uh, excellent little pins. They don't weigh anything. I, I have them in my, all, all our vehicles. First uh, blade, this, this one's always with me anytime. Anytime I go camping or fishing, anytime I'll be cutting things and I'm more likely not to clean them off. 
This is the blade I carry. And there, this is the one that'll stay in the pack for tomorrow because the one in my pocket will be the uh, the, the new drift with the thumb studs because I just sharpened this bad boy up and oh, it's, it's, it's wicked sharp. This is the third sharpening on, on both of these. This one, this one right here is wearing a 800, 800 grit edge. And this one right here, I, I went all the way just so I could see which one I like better with this Van Eck Super Clean. You don't have to worry about these two rusting at all. So that's why they're my go-to blades, just like that fixed blade. Uh, one of them is usually on my person and the other one will ride in this pack. Like I said, that way I have two sharp blades that I don't have to worry about anything I cut with them. They'll be fine, you know, as far as in the elements go. Um, let's put this back here. All right. And here's my secondary light. Uh, my new Phoenix E12. Just a small, good little light. 160 lumens. Just, it, it's a it's a nice, well-built. I like, I love my clickies. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about the flow move is it has the side click. I'm just so used, I've been so used to having the side click, especially with the firearm, you know, doing firearm training. I used to do the, the side click or the momentary on, just used to it, you know, it's hard to break those habits. So I love, love this because of that. I mean, I got two other flashlights right here that I bought just because, um, they're, they're tail, tail clickies. If y'all want to see uh, some of my flashlights, y'all let me know. I might do a flashlight video. Maybe next. We'll see. My collection of flashlights. I don't have a ton, but I have a good bit. All right. And I got my folders. I got both quiet carries. One in my pocket and the uh, waypoint in the, the bag. So those two are more for my normal EDC, you know, cutting fishing line, cutting food, whatever, that type of thing. If I have something that I have to do that's a little bit more rugged, I usually keep a cold steel on me. I think the last trip that I went on, it was, is it up here? Yeah, it was the Airlight, another great cold steel, lightweight. Um, but... This is Old Faithful. I love, I love the uh, American Lawman. It, it's nice and strong, nice and thin, very, very lightweight. I love being able to choke up like that. Um, you got S35 VN steel and it's DLC coated. So I, I don't, I don't think I'll have to worry about this one rusting at all either. Even though if I use this one for cutting up anything liquid or whatnot, I will clean this one off. But, uh, this is the tough, my tough blade. If I'm not using one of the fixed blades, that's what I have. <laughs> I don't think I'll be driving. If I would be driving, um, I would also I have underneath one of my seats uh, either a large fixed blade and a machete. But we won't really need that where we're going. <laughs> and um, that is my my fishing EDC for the weekend. I'm so excited. I hadn't been able to go fishing in quite some time. And it's something I enjoy doing. Another somewhat hobby, I guess you could call it. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know. Let me know what you think about the fanny pack. Do you ever do you ever carry one? And am I just OCD or do any of y'all when y'all set up stuff, do you have do you have it like, you know, put up to where you can organize it well? That's just me. That's how I've always been. And I don't think I'll change anytime soon. So there you go. I might do the, the flashlight collection video next. Maybe it's for tomorrow. I'm trying, trying, trying really hard to get enough videos. I'm going till Thursday. Uh, if if you don't see a video up from me uh, in the next uh, few days, that's why. Because I didn't have time to get them done. But I'm going to try to pump them out for y'all right after this video. All right, guys and girls, I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.